I feel like I can do a flip now that you've fixed up my hip. Smooth sailing now that you've cured my ailing. I'm feeling like a winner since you removed those stingers. No longer howling the blues thanks to you. I'm as happy as can be. Thanks for fixing my knee. Life is a breeze now that I don't have to sneeze. I'm no longer in the back. I'm the leader of the pack. My belly's feeling fine. Thanks for your time. Never been better. Thanks for treating my udder. Nursed back to shape. Thanks. You were great. Back doing my thing. Thanks for fixing my wing. Tail is feeling fine. Thanks for your time. I'm squealing with delight now that my fever's all right. I'm back on all four. My thanks is yours. Done. I'm feeling good, like a healthy moose should. Now that my teeth are right, I can get a good bite. I'm no longer under the weather since you fixed my feathers. Chirping again, thanks to you, friend. My chompers are back in shape. Thanks, you are great. Done! My nose is clear. Thanks to you, my dear. Trotting along again. Thanks to you, my friend. Welcome to Pet Care. To hear more about an animal and how to take care of it, click on the animal. If you need help, choose the Help button. There are many kinds of dogs. Some are very large and some are very small. Depending on the breed type, your dog could be very active, love the water, or prefer to sleep on the sofa in your living room. The best place to get a dog is at your local humane society or animal shelter. Provide a balanced diet, water, toys, regular grooming, and lots of patience and love. Remember to have your dog spayed or neutered and visit the veterinarian on a regular basis. One of your biggest responsibilities will be to train your dog. Patience, practice, and lots of treats for good behavior will quickly educate your dog to be a good companion. Adult cats are fantastic pets. You can find beautiful cats at your local animal shelter or humane society. To make friends with an adult cat, you must be very patient and let the cat come to you when they feel safe and secure with you. Once a cat has gotten to trust you, they will let you pet them and will love to be gently cuddled. Adult cats need regular veterinary care, a good diet, and a quiet place for the litter box. Cats also need regular grooming. All pet cats need to be spayed or neutered just like kittens. Many cat experts recommend you keep your pet cat indoors to keep it safe from traffic, disease, and other neighborhood dangers. Pot-bellied pigs have become a fad pet. They are very smart, cute, and really try to be clean. But pot-bellied pigs are likely to tear up your carpet and house with a behavior called rooting. They can grow to be very large. Many people who bought small pot-bellied pigs eventually abandon their pets or bring them to an animal shelter. Experts agree that pot-bellied pigs are interesting and smart animals, but only recommend that people with a lot of space, patience, and time have these pigs as pets. Caring for a horse is a big job. Your horse will need to be fed, watered, groomed, exercised, and will need regular veterinary care. 
Horses also need to have their feet trimmed every three months, which is done by a professional called a farrier. You will need to clean out the stall and pastures where the horse lives. Horses are very social animals and like to be with other horses. Horses are very strong, and you must learn how to keep yourself safe around them. Horses can be great companions and a lot of fun when properly trained. Hermit crabs are not the most common pet for kids. It takes careful handling for these pets because they can pinch with their large claw, which can be very painful. These animals require distilled water, a heated terrarium, and a special diet. As a hermit crab grows, it keeps moving into larger shells. Hermit crabs can be very fragile and become sick very easily if their environment isn't exactly suited to their needs. Did you know that the shells of hermit crabs are actually empty shells from other snails and not part of the crab at all? All dogs under one year of age are called puppies. Puppies are born blind and with almost no hair and have to stay with their mother until they are at least six weeks of age. Puppies need lots of rest, good nutrition, regular veterinary care, and plenty of opportunity to socialize with people as they grow up. Training a young pup takes love, patience, time, and consistency. A special obedience class for puppies can help you learn how to teach your puppy to grow into a great dog. Kittens must stay with their mother until they are at least six weeks old. Your local humane society or animal shelter is the ideal place to adopt a kitten. Your kitten will depend on you for good nutrition and regular veterinary care. They also need lots of rest and gentle handling. Ask your veterinarian about early spaying or neutering for your kitten. This is a safe surgery that can be done on kittens as young as eight weeks old. Kittens are very playful and need you to give them lots of love and attention. There are many breeds of rabbits. Some are very tiny, while others get to be very heavy and large. All rabbits need room to exercise and lots of attention. A good rabbit home is at least 10 times as long as the rabbit. Your rabbit will need a special diet of pellets, carrots, hay, a salt block, and fresh water. You will need to groom your rabbit gently with a brush and should take it to the veterinarian for regular visits. Rabbits have teeth that grow all their life. Your veterinarian will explain how to keep those teeth from growing too long. Never pick your rabbit up by the ears. Gently lift and support it with both hands. Make sure you give your rabbit plenty of exercise by letting it roam around your house or yard. Be sure to watch it, though. Rabbits are very curious and will chew wires and plants. Ponies are special breeds of small horses. Ponies need the same care that horses do. They have to be fed, watered, groomed, and need regular veterinary care. Ponies are very social animals and should never be kept by themselves. You will need to learn your pony's body language. When her ears are laid back, she is unhappy or even mad. But when she points her ears forward and is puffing a warm breath in your direction, she is trying to say hello and make friends. Always keep yourself safe around your pony. Never startle her or approach from behind without letting her know you are there. There are hundreds of different kinds of tropical fish to choose from, such as gouramis, guppies, oscars, or neons. All have slightly different needs. Some like very warm water, others need cooler temperatures. Some breeds of tropical fish enjoy the company of other fish and love living in a group. Others are more solitary and need to be kept alone. To learn about tropical fish, go to the library and do your research. Keeping these animals can be very expensive. You will need special equipment and an aquarium for these fish to live in. But once you have them, they can be very interesting and relaxing pets. Guinea pigs originally come from South America and are available in many colors. Some guinea pigs have very long hair and need regular grooming to stay healthy. They are very social animals that love people and other guinea pigs. Your guinea pig will need a special diet of guinea pig pellets, carrots, apples, and hay. Don't overfeed your guinea pig. They can get fat, and that's not very healthy for them. 
Regular visits to the veterinarian will keep your pet healthy. Once your guinea pig knows you, it will greet you with happy whistles and squeaks when you enter the room. A large wooden box or aquarium with a lid makes an ideal home for a guinea pig. Mice can make nice pets. They are gentle and quiet. Pet mice come in many different colors. An aquarium with a sleeping box and some branches will be an ideal home for your mouse. Your pet will need a special diet of grains, some vegetables, and occasional treats. You will need to clean the cage often. Male mice sometimes can be a little smelly. Mice need to be handled gently, so never pick up your mouse by the tail. Watch your pet mouse's whiskers. That is how it senses its environment. In the dark, those whiskers keep them from bumping into things. Cockatiels are very active and curious birds. They are gray, white, or yellow. They originally come from Australia. Your cockatiel will need a large cage with several perches and toys. You will need to feed it a special mix of seeds and grains and some fresh fruits and vegetables. Flying is good exercise, and under supervision, you can train your cockatiel to fly around the room. With patience, it will become tame and climb all over you. Cockatiels have a strong beak and can bite if they get angry or feel threatened. Be gentle and quiet around all birds, and you will gain their trust. Parakeets originally come from Australia. They can be green, blue, yellow, white, and many other colors. They are very active birds that love company. Parakeets will become very tame and like to fly around the room and land on your hand or head. If you don't have lots of time to spend with your parakeet every day, you should get at least two of them to keep each other active. Always keep the windows closed when you let your pet out of its cage and supervise its exercise time. These curious birds are lots of fun and with regular feeding and care will live for many years. Once or twice a year, your parakeet will lose lots of feathers. This is called molting and is a normal part of growing new feathers. Freshwater fish are types of fish that do not need heated water. Goldfish, for example, can survive under the ice of a garden pond. You can also keep goldfish indoors. Most experts agree that goldfish bowls are not the best home for fish. A large glass aquarium with a filter, light, and a top will be the ideal home for your goldfish. Goldfish need regular food and are lots of fun to watch. If you take good care of your goldfish, it will grow larger and larger, and eventually you will have to buy a bigger tank for it to live in. Gerbils are small rodents that come from the Mongolian desert. They are active during the day and love to live in family groups. Gerbils are very active little animals and will spend most of the day running around. Keep them in an aquarium tank with a secure lid on top that allows fresh air to enter at all times. You should not have a hamster wheel in the tank as it can injure the long tails of your gerbils. Gerbils have lots of babies, so it's important to keep males and females separated. They drink very little water and eat a special kind of rodent mix you can get at a pet store. Be sure not to pick your gerbils up by the tail. Gently lift them out of their home with both hands. Hamsters come from the deserts of the Middle East. They are small rodents who are active at night and sleep during the day. They like to live alone and can get very aggressive with other hamsters. The name hamster means to hoard. Wild hamsters gather food and stuff it into their cheeks. Then they carry that food into their underground burrows. Pet hamsters also collect food and will carry it into their sleeping corner. Since your hamster sleeps during the day, be gentle when you wake it to play. Sometimes they can be cranky and not want to come out. The canary originally comes from the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa. They have been popular pets for centuries because of their beautiful singing. Most canaries are bright yellow, but they can also be brown, orange, and several other colors. It is a myth that male canaries only sing when they are kept alone. You should always keep more than one canary together. Get a large cage for your pet birds, keep it clean, and provide fresh food and water every day. Canaries normally do not become tame, 
but they are fun to watch and even more fun to listen to. There are many different kinds of turtles and tortoises. Some live in water, others in the desert, and some like to live in swamps. If you have a turtle or tortoise, be sure you know what kind of care it needs. The proper care for one might be different than another. Before you purchase a turtle or tortoise, make sure you know what kind it is, because it may need a specialized diet. All turtles and tortoises need regular veterinary care. Iguanas are lizards that can grow to a very large size. They are bright green when they are little, but they turn a dark brown color when they get older. Iguanas need a warm environment with a heating lamp. They like to eat fresh vegetables, fruit, some meat, and vitamins. They love to take a bath in a pan of water. When frightened or angry, iguanas can use their tail as a whip. Always wash your hands after handling an iguana or after touching the cage. These animals can carry bacteria that can make you sick. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, pal. See you later then. Bye-bye.